Hey everybody, I should be here. As you can see, I am in the middle of nowhere. Well, not technically nowhere. I'm headed off to the pet store. And you can see that little sign, uneven paving stones walk with care. That's a little deja vu from uh, BL's channel. If you don't know it yet, please check out his channel. And uh, yeah, just gonna walk to the pet store and uh, then head to off to the pond. And you can see, here we are. Um, so yeah, a little busy day. I think it's around 3.30 right now. So I should get there at about 3.40. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when I'm at the pet store. Bull. Okay, so I just came out of the pet store and I bought uh, one silk one, 100 mealworms, and a thermometer. And I'll show you all that when I get home. But right now I'm gonna head off to uh, the pond to see what I can find. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the pet store. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at uh, my little pond here. Basically my holy grail in herping. I found quite a few salamanders, over five here. Tons of tadpoles and salamander larvae in here in the summer. Um, this is the place I often go herping. There are some other places for uh, finding instatinas, but here's basically long toads, Pacific tree frogs and stuff like that. You can see there are a bunch of little puddles here and there. Um, there were quite a few recent rains here in Vancouver and uh, since the rain just stopped I decided to come and check out my little pond. You can see there's the water body of uh, one of them. There's three more. Um, the reservoir is not really a pond. So yeah, I'm gonna go check around, see what I can find. Oh and look, it's my foothold I made a few months ago while trying to attempt to step over there. Ugh. Oh, look at this amazing view and the reflection of that really tall apartment. Okay, so here at the water's edge, as you can see, there's a bunch of plants. Um, don't see much in here other than a bunch of water bugs swimming around here and there. Um, normally, on a sunny day, I would see quite a few tadpoles and uh, occasionally a salamander larvae, but right now all I'm seeing is water beetles and other stuff like that. Um, I don't see much mosquito larvae or uh, phantom midge larvae, so I can bring back to my newts to eat. But, um, yeah, pretty empty here at the pond, or reservoir. I'm just gonna go and check something else. Okay, so first uh, place to check without falling in those little puddles is um, this big old log, which something already kicked up. That's kind of strange. No one here comes here but me. I believe. Um, and I don't see anything anyways. Okay, whatever. Let's go on to the next spot. That's a plant I tore up yesterday. Trying to bring back to my pond. Uh, another one of these little puddles. And if you can hear... What's that? It's a little bird. A little birdie. Where'd he go? Okay, there's a bird chasing me apparently. Oh, I see it. I see it. There. You see a little bird right there in the middle? A little birdie. Doing something funky. So, gonna head off over there where I found the garter snakes and a huge long toed salamander before with BL. Um, sadly, I didn't bring my camera that time, which was pretty disappointing because there was so much that we saw. So, yeah, let's uh, go check it out. What's this bird doing? Like chasing me and screeching. So I'm gonna go check this out. Completely ignore the bird here. Oh my god, fail. Let me attempt to do that again without, you know, ripping the entire thing off. Okay. Sports and kick! Brr. Ah! I almost fell myself there. Uh, so nothing under there. I'll flip that back some other time. Okay, um, nothing here, I think, yep, okay, and next one, <gasps> even heavier than you think, and nothing but big earthworms, and other stuff like that, okay, I have two more to do, and I'll go to the final one, uh, somewhere else, uh, nothing, again. There are a lot of worms here, which is a good sign. 
Sadly, no salamanders. <sighs> okay. Nothing there. Okay, so this is where I found the snakes last time. Let's see if they're under here. And no, it's full of water. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. They were so cool. I couldn't catch them because they kind of ran off under this building. So, let's just go and check this pot right here. Or if there's any more salamanders. Uh, I guess not. Hey, no. We found nothing here. Just gonna go to my last resort. Okay, after a lot of looking, I found a snake and uh, I crawled up my arm when I was lifting something and uh, I kind of twitched and it's now here. So I want to show you guys. This thing is so cool. I don't know what it is though. I want to get as close as I can. Oh man, look at the colors. This thing is just so cool. And it looks like it's about to strike. I hope not. Okay, uh, it's gonna be tough. This guy is just so cool. Like, look at the colors. That is like the coolest snake ever. Um, I found some before, but it did not look like this. And he feels so cool. Let's see if I can get any closer with my camera before he strikes, you know. Whoa. Look at him. I have a little fear of snakes, so I don't really want to grab him, but I really do. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to hopefully, and I'll uh, start the video again when I do. Okay, so I got this guy, and man, he just looks awesome. Like, oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is a garter snake. I don't know if it's poisonous. Well, this is kind of dangerous, but um, yeah, he's trying to strangle me apparently. So, yeah, let's get one good look at his uh, colors again. This guy is just so cool, and you can see there's a little nick on his tail. Uh, something must have attacked him, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, go release him into somewhere safe, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So I let him go, and uh, let's watch him as he slizzles away. So there he goes, back into uh, his home, hopefully. And uh, hopefully I can catch him again sometime. So yeah, that was a pretty cool find. I never thought I'd find a snake of all things. Um, I was hoping for a salamander, but that was pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for this video. And I'm shaking like crazy because that was just such an awesome experience. And uh, I'll be home to show you guys uh, what I got from the pet store. And that's it. Okay, so I'm back home, and as you can see, I bought a marina thermometer, a um, bunch of mealworms, and one silkworm, as you can see right there. Um, this guy cost about 75 cents. It's a lot cheaper than the horned worms, and looks about the same size, so I decided to buy one and see what it's like. So, um, I'm gonna make a feeding video for that uh, right after this video, and uh, yeah, this is pretty much the end of my uh, little trip to the pond and the pet store and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later Whoa.